Well, today didn't go as planned. It's uh, it's 11:10, and this is clip number one. So welcome to my vlog. It is uh, day 704, I think. I'm watching a, a shopping addict here. This gentleman has 70 pairs of shoes and far too many toothbrushes. <laughs> I've been talking and shopping for hours. Speaking of shopping, I got some stuff. And uh, I had myself some of these Lay's stacks. They're like a ripoff of um, uh, Pringles. And they're too salty. And if I say they're too salty, they're damn salty. Um, so what else got done today? Today, Thursday. Today was the big day. Got the exam out of the way, that wasn't bad. Turned the paper in this morning, did the presentation, turned in the other paper this morning, and did the other two things earlier in the week. So today's taken care of, which means tomorrow, Friday, smooth sailing. Don't know what's going on tomorrow night yet. Uh, word from Alex is we're gonna do a, another screwed up movie night, maybe. It's too bad, excuse me, it's too bad there's only seven Saw movies. I think we've already seen five, so there's only two left, and they're one and two, which I hear weren't as good. Holy crap, he's got a clock. Oh, no, wait. Oh, that's an appraisal shop, too. Good. All right. I thought he had that many clocks. So uh, that got done today. Also, more Earl. Earl. The M5 likes its Earl. And they've actually changed the packaging on this. It no longer says specifically E46 M3 and E39 M5 and E50 something Z8. It just says BMW recommends. And then it says on the bottom, exclusive approval for BMW M models. So I got four quarts, and the car took almost one. I put one in. It's on the higher end of the stick. So that'll last me another few hundred miles. And Everything comes from Turner. Also did a little repair on the car today using a flashlight and a knife. Um, when I had the hood resprayed and all that stuff done um, almost two years ago, year and a half ago, I guess. It was in the summer of 2011, spring, summer, June actually, June 7th. Um, when they replaced these front grills, this one always had a gap where it, it met the car and, I, and it would move around a little bit and I never really dealt with it. If you looked at it straight on, you could see it was down a little bit, it was kind of sagging. Well, that isn't quite acceptable anymore. So I went in there today, I opened the hood up, I was sitting on the top of my radiator and all of that crap in there, called the S62. Um, I took the grill out, which took about 45 minutes. I cleaned the area, then I put it back in and you won't see it now because it's dark and I always film at night now, which sucks, but it is now level as I almost fall down, it's level and, uh, and flush with the car. So that is fixed. I could have done that in an hour or two, a year and a half ago, and not looked at it every time I dragged the front of the car off. But I didn't, and now it's done. Also yesterday, I did not unlock that. Um, I made some new CDs for the car. I think I mentioned that. And I'm not using an iPod setup because I can't. If you look into the E39 and how you would add iPod integration to it, it is a bitch. It is absolutely terrible to figure it out. There's stuff you can buy, that means you're taking the, never close that, you're taking the six disc CD changer out, you're tearing all this trim apart, you're running wires up to the front of the car, and then you've got wires all over the place, and I don't want that much aftermarket stuff in here. You know me about aftermarket parts, I don't do that. So, um, that's why I use CDs. Anyways, I put those new CDs in, and then I sat out here in the car for a little bit, and I went through the different CDs, and I thought, oh, this sounds really good through my sound system. And I had the lights on for a little bit, didn't feel like that long, then I closed it all up, shut it down, and went inside. So I came out this morning, put the key in, tick, 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 shit, I was already late to be to school. So guess what? I had to rip the jumper cables out. I still haven't coiled those up. I carry them around. Not necessarily for me, but for other people. Today I happen to use them. And had to pull the Honda over two feet, jump this pig, and then go. And it's been fine ever since. So it was just my dumbassery and leaving the radio and the lights on for, I guess, too long last night. I don't think it was more than 20 minutes, but maybe it was. So now that needs to be recoiled up. But hint for you noobs out there, carry jumper cables if your car is old and has run a long way. Or you're just dumb and listen to your radio in the car with your lights on for too long. The Accord got an oil change last week and they said they were gonna wash the car when they were done with it. They washed the roof, this body panel, everything down to here. They did the greenhouse of the car. The rest of it was still filthy. So they called and you know, how did we do? Did we meet all your expectations? And we're not at all complaining about it, but we did mention that they washed half of the car. They were very apologetic and said, bring it in, we'll do a full hand wash wax detail for you anytime you want. How awesome is that? Classic Honda in Streetsboro. Friggin' right. Excellent service for great cars. 
Even so, look at that shine. It's probably been a year or two since it's been waxed and it's pretty good. That color reflects better than my color does, but you can see each car in the other, so that is good. Okay, jumper cables put away. I am productive this evening. Also got a yard mowed this afternoon, so uh, that leaves me two to do this year. Mine and across the street and east house. Both of those are fairly simple. I'll get them done when it warms up. Remember over the summer I went down to Canton to look at that 2000 M5 and Avis Blue um, for a friend of mine. We checked that out. We did, we did an E39 source video on it. Um, well, same guy. He's got a web hosting company. I, I, uh, I told him I would uh, display some of his products today. Yeah, he was actually kind enough to give me a promo code. Promo code Ryan Knows Tech. You will get 35% off your first month of hosting if you're a new customer. So uh, definitely uh, consider that. I'll leave the website and the links and stuff in the description box, but here it is. Um, I'll leave that website down there. CWHS. Looks like they have a couple different services here. Basic, Elite, and Business with uh, different storage and databases, bandwidth, uh, I don't know a lot about web hosting, but uh, there is the information. So uh, use the promo code if you want, and be sure to check out that website down below. All right, guys, 1.15 in the morning. I've been talking to Colt for an hour, 35 minutes, and 28 seconds. And I'm getting tired, so now he's talking in my ear. But I'm going to get this edited. Tomorrow's Friday. We're going to sweep in friggin' out the ass. And then do tomorrow, Friday, one class should be good. It's going to be sunny. I'll try to remember to show you the engine in detail and the sun. Uh, and I'll prom I promise that tomorrow I will start filming before it gets dark. So I'll talk to you guys then. Good night.